Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Iyer. What is it that we're going to talk about today? Well, a lot of things are happening in and around India, but the one perception that the BJP government is giving is that it is afraid of its minorities. Make no mistake about that. This hesitation, this hesitancy to be decisive is very, very wrong in my opinion, especially considering that they did not hesitate to sideline a very strong RSS person, meaning Nitin Gadkari. Nor did they hesitate to push out uh, Dr. Subramanian Swami or keep him out of the cabinet. I don't buy that, you know, it was Jaitley that was in between. I think Modi himself did not want Swami. Modi is a ladder climber. As soon as he climbs a ladder, he's going to kick the ladder. And, and that's how he has survived this far. Because, well, whenever he falls, it's going to be a pretty big fall. I can guarantee you that. This is just his personality. I can't say anything more. As a Prime Minister, he seems to have a few goods, uh, hits and a few misses. Let's not evaluate that part. But what exactly is going on with these two cases? Whether it is Nupur Sharma or the case of T. Raja Singh. The BJP itself appears to be confused. And this is something that is of concern. Because right now, if I as an observer am confused, I'm sure the party itself is even more confused. Why do I say this? Just look at what happened in the Raja Singh case. He first threatened that he will not allow this one Muslim comedian show to take place. And in a show of force, the Telangana Rashtra Samadhi government, that is KCR, K. Chandrasekhar Rao, um, they put a thousand policemen in uh, to guard this event and made sure that the event happened. So with that, everything should have passed off, right? Wrong. Akbaruddin Oasi, the brother of Asaduddin Oasi, another dynastic party, this guy wants to take a poke at Raja Singh and Raja Singh gives it back in kind. And then what happens? Because Raja Singh said that a program will not take place, he is arrested. Then he gets paid because the judge finds no fault in his claim that a certain person, because what Raja Singh said was he questioned the credentials of the boss of the said comedian. He didn't say the name and, and the judge gave him bail. Then what happens? The uh, Raja Singh is also testing the waters. He's trying to see how strong and how far he can push this thing, push the envelope. As soon as he got arrested, the BJP state president of Telangana started protesting in, in I think it was Nizambar. But then lo and behold, the party suspends Raja Singh. What is the Bandi Sanjay going to do? This is the problem. The rank and file doesn't know what its high command is doing. And the high command have no business doing this. They should not have uh, involved themselves. Just like they should not involve themselves in the Nupur Sharma case. India has freedom of speech. People are free to express this, their views. But did they touch Akbaruddin for his 15 minute comment or for him deriding the idols of Hinduism? Or now that he is going, he is talking about Raja Singh being an insect that he can uh, squash anytime he wants? So it's you have to play it equal. You have to play it both ways. You have to allow both sides to have the same access to law, to freedom of speech, to everything. And you try to curb the majority, the majority is going to say F you. That's what's going to happen. I'm sorry to say this thing. At some point, this is going to happen. You'll got you'll start seeing Modi being booed. Ask him to go and address a public rally today, especially in Telangana. See what happens. They, they, there were expectations that they were going to get 30 seats. Now, I don't know. Because people are saying that what does anybody get by voting for BJP? Nothing. They kill their own children. This is a problem. This perception he has to change and he has to change it forthwith. He has to remove the suspension of Raja Singh. Now what has happened? He comes out on bail. Then what happens? Now they find something else to stick him with. They find some old cases and the police re-arrest him. KCR is running amok. And this rascal is just, just going about saying whatever he wants to. I'm talking about the other guy. But there's an audio conversation of what he said to all those people who were saying Sartan Se Juda. They were all arrested and they were freed at 1 a.m. There is a message. You should go and watch that too. I'm not going to put all those things here. My general perception is BJP urgently needs to get its marbles right. 
Otherwise, you know, this Hindutva party, the party for Hindus, the party with the difference, uh -uh, zero, zero, zero. That's what's going to happen. You listen to me, maybe you can do some course correction, you have hope. Otherwise, 2024, uh -uh, watch what is going to happen if you continue to do this kind of thing, Mr. Modi. This is not good for you. It's also not good for the country. I'm acutely aware of the problems India faces. In fact, I speak up for the BJP government every time. I feel that they are being wrong outside of India. But I also have some expectations that BJP will speak up for the people who elected them to power. 303 seats. They, you have some responsibilities for having been elected and put in that chair. People repose their faith in you, thinking that you will do the job. What have you done on the economy? What have you done on securing the country for people? There are uh, communities being uh, called for genocide. What have you done about it? Did you put out a press statement? So these are all things that should have been done, but this man believes in not saying anything and you know, this uh, things just keep going on and on. And I'm really, really, un, um, you know, disappointed is not even beginning to express the kind of uh, feeling that I have that, you know, you do all these things. And then I look at the other things like NDTV, the crooks are just going to walk away free. At least that's how it looks like because this, guy, this government doesn't believe in communicating. I don't know what exactly they think of themselves. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.